Have you ever been on the wrong end of one man dog? Have you ever felt a sense of betrayal when your dog tends to pay more attention to another family member? These questions lead to a greater question, which would be, do dogs have a favorite human? Any dog owner can tell you, yes, they do. And it might come as a surprise, but there are things you can do to greatly improve your dog's thoughts towards you and perhaps be able to take that favorite human mantle in time. This is Dog Breeds FAQ Channel. Who doesn't want to be a dog's favorite person? If you're a dog lover, you know the special kind of feeling that comes with thinking you're the object of a dog's affection. Although most dogs tend to love every member of their family, there always seems to be that one person who they look forward to being with a smidge more than everyone else. They can also become jealous when their favorite human gets too much attention from other people or animals. What makes dogs decide who their special person is? As humans, we have a sense of loving everyone in our family equally, or at least that's how we believe we're supposed to feel. For example, parents are supposed to love every one of their children equally, right? This is a human trait, and the dog has no intention to play by the same rules. Understanding that this is primarily something that humans do helps explain why dogs show more favor to one person over others. Who has been given the dog the most attention? In most circumstances, the one who gives a dog the most attention throughout its days of being a puppy into adulthood will be the person it will be most attached to. You could be the person feeding it, disciplining it, or training it. But most dog breeds gel with those who it sees the most often, plays with the most often, and overall enjoys life with most often. This is the concrete bond that is formed that will last the dog's lifetime. However, some occasions crop up that trump this bond for short periods. Sometimes it all depends on who's handing out the good stuff. The person who's more prone to spoil the dog wins the dog's heart easier. A dog makes associations between where it gets things it wants with different people. If you're the one feeding it, it will seek you out for food when it's hungry. If you have a family member who shows up bearing gifts in the form of doggy treats, guess who your dog will want to be spending most of its time with? This is an example of loyalty and love through bribery that works so well with dogs. Sure, it may appear that your best friend has replaced you with a new best friend, but it's only temporary. Is a dog's favorite person someone who is most like the dog in temperament? It is not an accident that the closest dog and owners are considered to be alike by anyone paying attention. It sounds weird, but dogs also gravitate towards people who share many of the same feelings or traits that they do. Out of a group of people a dog is friendly with, whoever can match the dog's mentality at that time is going to be the one that it feels the most comfortable with. Bear in mind, we're talking about positive feelings or even energy levels. Energetic dogs will get along better with active people, while lazy dogs feel more comfortable with less active people. Speaking of comfortable, a dog will be closer to whoever comforts it best. Dogs thrive on reassurance, companionship and knowing that everything is going to be alright. Whoever in the house is doing the best job with the dog will be more trusted in this department. Being pampered and made much of will show the dog that you are there as a reassuring presence in the same manner that you are a source of food, water and play. Being someone that a dog can turn to as a child would turn to a parent goes a long way in the favoritism department. So how can you cement your place as your dog's favorite human? If you have taken in a dog, it could be a challenge to form a relationship with the dog that you'd hope for. Or if a dog's most favorite human isn't around anymore, kids off to school, moved out, etc. It could be suffering from separation anxiety. In either of these circumstances, you can step in and do your best to fill the role. It can take a while, but if you spend ample time with the dog through play, walks, games, grooming, all while flourishing it with treats, you can convince the dog that you are worthy of its undying affection. There's no doubt that an overwhelming majority of dogs have favorite humans. All the things discussed in this video can help you be a special person to a dog, but there's no guarantee. Suppose your temperament is that much different from the dog's. In that case, it might not matter what you do overall to try and win it over and slide you into the favorite human slot. If you're trying to be a dog's favorite person, try to figure out 
where you're lacking as far as giving attention, personality, time spent in activities, giving praise and affection, and feeding. If you love the dog, it's more than worth the effort. Have you ever been a dog's favorite person? If so, kindly leave a comment below and let me know of any tips or tricks you use to make that happen. Please don't forget to like the video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thank you for watching.